Hello friends, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily K. Mane. In this quick story, I'm going to be te teaching you the most profitable blogging niches that you can branch into if you want to make money online. And we are going to be looking at it from four perspectives. Four perspectives. So we are going to be looking at uh, the, the blog niches in terms of market size, the blog niche in terms of cost per click, available monetization strategies, and how easy it is for you to sell that blog when you want to move into another business. You all know that making money from blogging is possible, but you have to choose the right niche. When you are in the right niche, it makes it easier for you to make money from your blog. But when you are in a niche that is not profitable, it's going to be a hell of struggle. One of the reasons why most people are not making money from their blog is because they are blogging on the wrong subject. So today I want to show you the areas you can blog on for you to make money from blogging. These lists are not exhaustive. There are so many other niches that I might not want to go into just to make this video concise. So I'm going to be focusing on just three or four niches. So let's dive right into it. So the first niche you want to look at is the insurance niche. Insurance niche is a very broad niche. In insurance niche, you have life insurance, auto insurance, home insurance, personal injury insurance, liability insurance as business insurance, and professional and public liability insurance and the rest of them. There are so many other needs, travel niche, travel insurance, uh, boat insurance, vehicle insurance, auto insurance, and many others. The insurance niche is very broad. It's not something that one can actually exhaust in a lifetime. So it's a very profitable niche. And from my research, I discovered that the US industry the U.S. insurance industry net premiums written in 2021 was about $1.4 trillion. So it tells you that there is so much money to be made in this niche. If you are in a niche where enough money is in circulation, it makes it easier for you to make money within the niche. And we also discovered that some of the keywords in insurance, niche, which I'm not going to be revealing here, you can do your own research. There's a keyword I saw in, I saw in insurance niche that gives you $1,000 per click is a keyword. But that keyword is very competitive. When I search for it, it is a very competitive, very highly competitive keyword. It's very competitive, but it shows that if you can rank for some of the keywords within the insurance niche, it makes it easier for you to make money from your blog. And what happens is that when companies want to run adverts, when insurance companies or insurance agencies want to run adverts online, they are more likely to pay a fraction of this money to uh, bloggers who will help them to sponsor their posts on their platform instead of giving every single thing to Google Ads. So it, it tells you that there is so much money to be made in this niche. You can monetize your insurance niche through Google AdSense. You can monetize your insurance niche through sponsored posts. You can monetize your insurance niche by selling insurance quotes. You can monetize by selling ad space. You can send ad space to insurance companies. You can send ad space to insurance agencies. You can send insurance space to InsurTech. InsurTech has to do with companies that are into uh, insurance technology. They produce tools and, uh, and uh, te uh, technologies for the insurance industry. So you can sell ad spaces to them. You can as well run a subscription program where people who subscribe to your platform will have access to a certain level of information especially when it has to do with case studies. You can do it as a subscription product for your audience. And when you are done working on this niche and you feel like it is time to sell it, you can sell it to agencies or even insurance companies and they are more likely to buy it from you. For you to increase your chances of selling your insurance block at a very high amount of money, it means you need to start with a brandable domain name. The more brandable domain name, you have, or the more brandable your domain name is rather, the more likely you are going to sell it for a higher amount. So that's why you have to plan your journey in the blogging industry from the very beginning. You need to work with someone who understands how to organize the entire system. So you need to start from the beginning. It's not something you suddenly decide, oh, I want to go into blogging, and you start blogging without the adequate, without having adequate information. So start with a good domain name so that when you are done blogging in that industry, you feel like you want to move into something else, it will be easier for you to sell it. Another thing that will increase your, your chances of selling it for a high amount of money is if you have 
high traffic volume. If you have high traffic volume, you are going to sell it for a huge amount of money because the insurance industry is a very profitable industry. So let's quickly look into another industry. Another area we want to look at is digital marketing. Digital marketing is a very broad industry as well. So it's very profitable. And I said here that a digital marketing block is one where you discuss digital marketing tips, trends, strategies, and tools. Any blog where you discuss these things, tips, trends, tools, and strategies, you are likely going to grow in that blog because people are buying these tools. New companies are coming up that are producing these tools and new trends will definitely come up. So it's a very profitable niche, but it is a broad one. So if you want to go into it, you have to move in from one angle. And I say there are some areas you are likely going to cover are web hosting, web development, email marketing, social media marketing, advertising, affiliate marketing, SEO, and, and et cetera, et cetera. So it's a very broad niche. Even if you decide to pick only web hosting as a niche, is a profitable one. You can monetize it through affiliate marketing where you register on all the web hosting platforms and become their affiliate. Create content that will help you to rank on the top of search engine, run advert to it, and money will come. And I said here that the, the global digital marketing market reached a value of nearly $321 billion in the year 2022. That's a huge money. Imagine you are getting 0.00001% of the market share, what it is. That's $321 billion in 2022. That's the market value of the digital marketing niche. And it's expected to reach a value of around, around $671.86 billion by 2028. We are in 2023 right now. That's in the next five years. The industry is about, is about doubling. It's going to double in the next few years. It shows that if you are in this niche and you grow in this niche called digital marketing niche, the tendency of your business also growing. If you can get yourself to the top 20% of the people in the niche, the top experts in the niche, it means you increase your chances of any from the 80% of the revenue that is generated within the niche. And I also say that some of the cost per click within the digital marketing niche can be as high as $150 per click. So if you can create content within the niche, Targeting keywords that have high CPC, there's tendency of you making more money from it because you are not just going to be making money from Google AdSense, you'll be, you'll be making money from affiliate marketing, you sell courses, you offer services, you offer consulting, you offer sponsored posts, and you make money through AdSense as well. So these are the various ways you can make money within the digital marketing space because it's a very broad one and it's very, very profitable. You can easily sell it to an agency or a company that launched a new product or an existing digital marketing tool. A few years ago, we heard that Bank Linko sold their platform to SEMrush for over, they, they didn't disclose the amount, but speculation has that is within the mid seven figures. Seven figures is somewhere around $5 million, $7 million, and the rest, uh, within that range. So this is a blog they started just a few years ago, and they were able to, Brandin was able to sell it for such a huge amount of money. So there is always a company waiting to buy your digital marketing blog when you are ready to exit the market. All you need to do is to get a good domain name from the beginning, grow your traffic, build your audience, and make money from the blog so that they will know that they are not just inheriting something that is not making money. If any uh, digital marketing tool or company sees a blog that is doing well, they are likely going to make you an offer, especially if you had an opportunity to work with them. So the best way to do it is to work with the uh, digital marketing companies that you would like to sell your blog so that they can see the potentials that you have. When they see the potentials that your blog have, they are more likely to make you a good offer the day you are ready to exit the market. Let's look at the third one. The third one is the finance niche. The finance niche is also another profitable niche and it's, and it's also a very broad niche. A blog within the finance niche might not, might want to focus on loans, mortgage, personal finance, crowdfunding, investing, savings, budgeting, stock market, retirement, cryptocurrency, and the rest of them. So if you're running a blog within the finance niche, it's a very broad one. You don't have to cover everything at the same time. You can start from loans alone. You can start from mortgage. You can start from personal finance. You can start from investing. You can start from savings. You can start from stock market. 
retirement until you begin to grow to other aspects of the finance. So it's a very broad niche and it's a very profitable one. And I said that as of 2021, the assets of the U.S. financial institution, institutions amounted to approximately 135.4 trillion U.S. dollars. These informations are verifiable on the internet. You can verify it. That is the, the asset of the U.S. financial institutions as at the year 2021. The figure for the 2022 is not yet available, so I would have shown you. And I'm pretty sure that it must have increased by at least 2 or 3% in the last one year. So it shows that there is so much money to be made in the finance industry if you are running a blog in that niche. And the CPC of some keywords within the finance uh, broad niche can be as high as $36 per click to $45 per click if you are ranking for those keywords. And you get one thousand and get one click for every one thousand impression. This is what you are likely going to get. And you can monetize your finance related blog through Google AdSense, sponsored posts, services, consulting, sales of digital products, ad placement, and many more ways to do it. There are many way, many ways to make money from your finance blog. You just need to figure out what is working for your audience. Monitor your audience. Look out for what they uh, what they want and create or present the product to them. You can also make money through affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing, it will help you a lot. You can even make money as well through influencer marketing, where you become an influencer to some budgeting apps, to some savings app, to some uh, um, uh, uh, stock trends, platforms that produce stock trends. You can become uh, an influencer to them. So there are so many ways you can make money from this finance niche. And I said that you can sell your blog to finance and investment institutions. Like we see in the case of uh, Bankaholic that sold their blog to bank rate for the rate of $15 million in the year 2008. It was just two years after the blog was launched that they sold this for $15 million. That tells you what is obtainable in the finance niche. If you start a blog that is doing well, target the right audience, get them to, uh, uh, to, to buy the, the products you are selling on your platform or to take massive action through your platform, many finance institutions will begin to make offer to you. There are so many other blogs. The same thing happens in, within the tech industry. The same thing happens within the food niche. So if you are if you decide to build a blog on any niche, make sure you, you, you've been able to craft a way of making money from that niche. And also plan your exit. How am I going to exit this market? Do I sell? Do I merge? Or do I get acquired? How do I do it? You need to plan it from the very beginning. It helps you to know what to expect. If you have the intention of being acquired in the future, or you have the intention of selling your company in the future, or you have the intention of merging with another company in the future, it will reflect in the way you run your business. It will reflect in the monetization strategies you put in place. It will reflect in the way you do the uh, devolution of power, where, where you will not be the only person or you, you will not be the only face of your blog. It means you are no more likely going to be using your name to launch the blog. So these are some of the things you need to consider if you want to grow within the blogging industry. And the question here is, can you combine two blog niches? The answer is yes. But the real puzzle is in knowing how to do it right. I put together a training, a blogging business masterclass. You can see the link here, seller.co forward slash 4CROC, where you can get information on how to start a blog, generate massive and stable traffic, and make money from the blog. Just follow the link in the description so that you can see how you can assess this training at a very good discount right now. So I want you to take action, learn how you can combine two niches together in the most profitable way for you to make money from your blog. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Please, if this is your first time of watching my YouTube channel, subscribe to this channel and hit this, uh, the notification button so that you can always get notified every single time I release a new video. Don't forget to check out my blog, entrepreneurbusinessblog.com for more information on how to grow in your blogging career. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a great day.